Oh, why is the shadows and the highlights on the same layer? All right, we just have to live with the, uh, <laughs> that's the bet I made. I'm going to live in it because that's, I don't think I can replicate that in a way I'm going to be happy with. <laughs> I fucked up. Uh, I fucked up and it looks good. So now I have to leave it there and figure out how to make it look good more. Uh, <laughs> it'll be fine. It's fine. When you make so many layers, you finally have to name them and it just kind of sucks, but it's the bed you made, so now you're gonna live in it. It's the one thing that I love and hate about trying new stuff. Sometimes I'm like, what the fuck was I doing? I was going off the rails making a crystal pot. I'm pretty sure in every stream at least a few times, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. So that's fair. That's always annoying when you do something and you don't know how you did it. Yeah, that's any art project I come back to after a minute, though. Like, I'm trying to finish... Well, I was. I kind of give up. <laughs> I was working on Scuts instead, but... Um, I wanted to do just some, like, Halloween stuff that I would work was working on last year. I was like, oh yeah, I'll finish this. I, I make craft piles. Of course, the eternal struggle of starting a project and never finishing it. Uh, if I didn't fit that trope, I would not be an artist, I don't think. <laughs> I'm working on three different drawings at the same time right now, if that doesn't... <laughs> so guilty. Um, so what I do to try to help myself out uh, and give myself a chance I'll take my projects and either take like a plastic bag or a small box, bin, etc. And I take everything, like all the material components, not necessarily my tools or my paints and things like that. I'll take uh, the bits and pieces. So like I was painting some eyeballs on some ping pong balls because that looks cool as fuck. If I had a better webcam, I'd probably s stream painting it, but it would look crunchy as Fuck. So, <laughs> I haven't been able to, but I found them all in a box and all the pieces for the project I was working on. So if I wanted to resume the project, it's actually feasible for me to try to do it. Cause I like to sit and then I like to stand and then I like to sit and then I like to stand. But I'm like, I don't know. Do I need to be careful the wear and tear and like how many times I sit and stand? I don't know. Go find out. I was going to decorate for Halloween and now I'm just like, I don't know, <laughs> too tired. I got other stuff to do. The energy that I put into decorating is not going into getting work done. It's not making, I'm like, huh? I, I can't even enjoy life. <laughs> Fuck you, capitalism. I just wanted Halloween instead. I don't like, ah, I can't make any money off of that. I have to go draw commissions, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to see what looks good. I think that there's a lot of that. Like, that's why when you ask an artist, you're like, you know, <laughs> oh, wow, how do you shade like that? They're like, I don't know. Or they'll be like, I use a multiply layer. <laughs> like, they'll tell you the technical side. But when people are like trying to ask like how you do stuff and, and artists are like, I don't know. A lot of it's just kind of trying stuff out, making sure it looks good or looks realistic. I think I need to do something with my model here. Poor Scuts. I messed with her face expressions and now she's just, she's just broken. Too, too expressive in the weird ways. The face tracking just thinks I have resting bitch face, I guess. I don't know. Trusting the process. Yeah. <laughs> as with the art, as with my Scuts. But yeah, no, that's kind of the, the trust the process thing in earnest, though, is like, you don't always know what's going to look good. What kind of happens, I think, is over a period of, of like time and trial and error, you kind of gain an intuition for what will look good. So you're more likely to have a desirable result for your efforts. But you have to make all the fuck ups to get to the point where you kind of start to learn that. You don't just instinctively go, oh yes, this doesn't look right. 
it you kind of like okay yeah yeah when i highlight stuff like that it, it kind of gets the effect that i want you have to try stuff out and see what gets the closest to how you want it to look there you go the uh the best part of vtubing is the giant light shining in your face I'm listening to an ad in my ear and I kind of want to just scream. I really love shading the eyes. It's this weird like double-edged sword. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to do, but then also it's really awkward when you save doing the eyes for last because they they add so much that it, it just feels kind of off-putting <laughs> when they're not there like uh but it's it's my carrot on the stick one of my favorite things to do so i really i really dislike doing it too early because then i didn't save myself anything fun and it's like oh no okay this is seriously the one thing that breaks my brain on the whole thing if they're made of crystal and you can see through what the fuck do you do with an eyeball that's opaque Oh man, one time I accidentally dyed my hair the color of, I think her name was Gusty. I dyed my hair and I looked at one of my ponies and I was like, that's why that color combo feels familiar. So then I went and I looked up and Gusty's voiced by the same voice actress who did Lisa Simpson, or no, not Lisa, uh, Bart Simpson. So I'm just like, I dyed my hair the color of the pony that sounds like Bart Simpson. Good job, Scuts. Good job. <laughs> Why does the crystal pony have roller skates? Now I just have questions. I only remember the old show, like, vaguely in the archives of my memories. I'd get home and I'd be like, yeah, the pony show's on TV. And it would be over. I'm like, oh. I think it came on, like, right as I'd be getting home from school, so if I got home early enough, I could see some of it. But other than that, yeah, that was my whole nostalgia for it. And then um, I had, I have them because when my cousins, when my cousins were born, they started to just kind of, like my sister and I used to brush all the hair out and like take care of the little ponies. They were, they were like all in a trash bag and we dumped them out and their hair's all fucking matted and tangled and they just were like oh god you poor little forgotten toys and so we sat there and I don't know how many ponies there were it was a pile if I had to guess it, I would say legitimately at least 30 ponies minimum and we sat there and we brushed out their manes and we brushed out their tails and tried to be really careful so they didn't get frayed and like we'd pull them out and play with them from time to time and then they just kind of went went into the toy closet for a while till my cousins were born and then one day I saw the pile of them on the floor and their hair was all matted they're all like tangled one of them's like stuffed into something else and I'm like you poor little bastards you don't deserve this and so I just like grabbed five of my favorites of the ones that I could see and I basically I rescued them and I took them home and I brushed their hair out and uh, now they they just kind of they I mean they've moved a couple of times and I haven't had the time to do that since so the not as pristine as they may have been once upon a time they haven't been just like absolutely manhandled yeah <laughs> delete it's the scariest thing ever Where'd that file go? I don't know. Oh god, did I delete it? Having an internal crisis and no one can help me. <laughs> that was cool. I, uh, I looked up and my lamp was taking a ride on my monitor. It had uh, lifted itself off its base. And up it, up it went. Little Ikea lamp pulled itself out. <laughs> of the little stand and uh yeah just just went for a ride i was like all right i guess that's uh that's what it's gonna do all right um so i'm trying to keep stuff from the same palette because the blues and the yellows or the oranges and the purples because if you look at the the color wheel am i gonna blow i'm gonna screw everything up but we'll we'll see if this works so if you look at the <laughs> 
If you look at the color wheel, nope, you can't. I'm sorry, I'm blocking the bottom part. Essentially, like there's yellow and blue are across from each other. And then the purple, purple and orange is kind of a different tertiary set. So these are more directly across each other on the color palette. Whereas the orange and the purple, I kind of like that though, because then the main character is this uh, third color. So that actually works really well. Ah, shit, that works really well. Is it too late for me to try to change? Oh, because I did use kind of the orangey tone for the sunset and the yellows from the lamp. Mm, let's see what happens. We'll just tuck that background away. <laughs> oh my God, Squidward's existential crisis in the future is like just a mood I don't know if it's because I grew up with it, but sometimes everything is just you know, overwhelming. And I'm like, I don't know what's happening right now. I got to get with it. But like the back of my brain is just like, future. That's that's how I feel anytime I'm trying to update VTube software or like stuff for stream. How does this all work? How does this integrate with the other things? How do you talk to each other? I still don't know how to get the tits to trigger with Twitch redeems. We'll get there. But yeah, essentially while I'm trying to figure it out, my IT Tuesdays, it's just me laying on my back doing crunches, screaming future. Yeah, yeah, that sums it up. It's so chaotic, there's no planning. I'm like, trees go here. Trees are this scribbling motion. <laughs> Mountain goes here. Mountain is this scribbling motion. It's really interesting because I don't feel like I... <laughs> I don't feel like I know what I'm doing, but it's not because I don't know what I'm doing. It's because... I don't know. I mean, oh, <laughs> Bob Ross rant while I'm dressed as Scott Ross. How appropriate. One of my favorite things was learning that Bob Ross actually did, I think it was three paintings per, uh, per painting that you saw him do on the show. He would do, I think, one initial one to test the concept, and then he would paint two others that they would record, and they would pick the favorite of the two, and that would be the one that made the broadcast. So even somebody like Bob Ross, where everyone looks up to his uh, landscapes and everything, like, he had two runs at that painting, essentially, to, to pick which one, you know, he liked better. And, it's like there's three of them <laughs> that's a lot of practice it's not just you know coming out of nowhere that he's he's so good at these things and just like knowing about that it's like okay you know it, it makes the, the load a little lighter you don't have to be perfect uh let my inner bob ross out yes yes it's not always about being perfect it's about giving it a couple of tries till you figure it out it's about persistence, not perfection. Persistence gets you further than perfectionism. I'm putting sustainable growth over uh, the chaotic growth. And, oh no, I forgot what I was talking about because mountains. But this is where I want the mountains to be trees. I don't know why that's so hard to comprehend. <laughs> so it used to be like if, uh, uh, so I don't care if um, something goes, you know, a hundred, what just fucking fell? <laughs> that's fine. That's 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 workable. Please. What was I talking about? Nature is random, so I must be random too. I'm just gonna scribble here and see what it looks like. I literally haven't been able to draw since like last Saturday or Sunday because I freaking was eating a watermelon sour candy. It made me salivate while I was trying to talk. And I coughed so hard, I hurt something in my drawing arm. So I'm like, okay, don't do it again. Seriously, drawing is pretty crazy. I'm like, yeah, I think I know what this thing looks like. And then you try to draw it and you're like, wait, wait, do I really know what this looks like? And the answer is no, no, you fucking don't. <laughs> I've had to go look like what railroad tracks look like. I've had to go look up like door frames or go take pictures of. And I'm just like, you think you know what something looks like until you need to draw it. And then you find out whether or not you do. The odds are you don't. So many questions. I don't want to answer, I just want to draw. Head empty, let me draw. If I over saturate it with details just for the skull, then they'll think that every detail there needs to be involved. It's like, uh, be careful what details you include because they will be repeated. 
So if they're not necessary, don't add them because some some poor artist is gonna be like, this skeleton has exactly five teeth. Like, no, wait, no, oh god, why'd I point that out? No. Fuck. <laughs> he had the Tom Cruise center tooth. Hang on. Or should we just leave it like that? Be like, it's only we know it's Tom Cruise's little, little tooth soulmate here. No, it's gonna bug me. Alright, let's uh let's fix his toothies. It's not that hard. Oops. As I fuck it up. Yeah. It's perfect. He's the best skeleton ever. He's not a skeleton, he's just a skull. Where are the rest of your bones? I am but a kneecap. But you're a skull! <laughs> I haven't been able to draw for a couple of days. I get, I get weird when I haven't been able to draw. That's why I need to do my Halloween crafts. When I paint a skeleton. Yeah, yeah, no, that makes sense. If I go and I paint something and it's a skull and I've I've gone and, cause I got some of like the dollar store stuff. All my, all my, all my, all my Halloween decorations got ruined one year. So I had to like kind of start over from scratch. And one of the things I was like, well, I guess I'll go to the Dollar Tree and kind of get some starter things. Some of the stuff I had, I'd had since I first moved out. So I was like, aw. But yeah, when stuff molds, you don't really want to keep it. But there's like a couple of uh, skulls. And so they weren't very well painted. And so I just kind of, sprayed them down with some plasti dip and I was like yeah let's give you a spooky paint job and make you look good so I did one uh <laughs> I did it gold I think yes I didn't get out my decorations yet this year so I don't know I'm going off of memory but I'm pretty sure there's one I haven't painted yet Ooh, I should do him a fun color. I could paint him bone colored, which is what I was gonna do. But why paint him bone colored when I could paint him something wacky? What color would I paint him though? Oh, I don't have any fluorescent. I wanna make a hot pink skeleton. I think I was like in the middle of something and my game crashed and I was just like, <sighs> I was like, all right, it's fine. It's like, man, you kept your chill. It's like, yeah, cause losing a game to crashing is kind of nothing compared to losing an art file. I mean, it still will frustrate me enough to like quit the game sometimes if I've lost enough uh, progress. And I'm like, well, time to go draw. If you went through high school without making a demonic or an angelic OC, I, I think there was something wrong. You were not an art kid. Oh my God. I'm like dancing to my washing machine. I'm just doing a little jiggle. It's Guts is picking up to it, kind of. Guts is doing my washing machine dance. I don't know why I do it. I looked up and my horse is doing it. I'm like, she's just doing a weird little jiggle. It's not quite what I'm doing, but it's funny. It's probably past the time I wanted to stop, but I also had to clean up a spill in aisle. I suck at holding things. I, I'm like, can I zip tie it in place? That's what I'm thinking. That That's what's going on in the, 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 the cogs that are turning. I'm like, can I zip tie my tablet in place so it doesn't drop in my lap? I am so excited. I'm happy to be back on the art train. Let's get let's get what we can get done while the getting's going, you know? Have a wonderful night. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.